Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to share with you some NCL gem ship tips. So our first ship tip, jumping right in, is that the mid elevators on the NCL gem are very busy. Uh, if you want to get up or down the elevator quickly, you can walk through to the back elevators usually, whatever elevator you're on, mm -hmm. and, and you'll go much quicker. Mm -hmm. uh, also, or the yeah, front. Or the front. That mm -hmm. might be important too for where you want to book your room. Mm -hmm. uh, we were next to yeah. the mid elevators and a lot of the time we <laughs> did not use the elevators yeah. closest to us. We didn't because it didn't matter if it was port day or not. It just was so busy, I feel like, all the time. Espe actually, especially on the sea days, it was pretty wild if you were trying to go up or down. We were kind of in the middle of the ship in the middle in the middle <laughs> and mm. so it was hard to you know go up from there uh, another tip you might not realize is that there are actually two walking traps mm -hmm. tracks on the ncl gem there is the one that is uh on the upper levels which kind of just walks around you can overlook the mm -hmm. pool it's mm -hmm. not very big there's a really nice one on deck seven though mm -hmm. and it is just a walking track made and it goes all the way around the ship mm -hmm. uh there are a couple shuffleboard ports on one side of the ship but that is it you just have to navigate those otherwise mm -hmm. you can walk the entire length of the ship mm -hmm. and uh, that's a great place yeah to walk. and it's covered the yep. entire way around the one up above on the sun deck is only covered part of the way it's yep. open in the back as you're walking by the um, sport court so we're going to talk about uh, especially restaurants a little bit and for our money we did a few of them the best mm -hmm. specialty restaurant you can get for your money is Cagney's. Best. And it is one of the best in on any ship at sea mm -hmm. uh, for the money. We got the dining package. We did get the two meal package mm -hmm. and we thought it was a pretty good deal. Uh, at the end of the meal, after they brought us everything, if you were going to do it a la carte, our meal would have been $209, I think it was. For just the one. For just the one meal. Uh, mm -hmm. So that was pretty big savings on that mm -hmm. a lot of times on a on especially a restaurant you can just go do a la carte we thought yeah. about that there mm -hmm. look at the prices and the uh the cagneys was a really mm -hmm. good deal so we also did the moderna uh didn't think it was quite as good as cagneys right. but uh cagneys definitely something that you should do yeah. if you want if you're interested yeah there was it was definitely a big difference in the quality of the meats that you got in Cagney's and Moderna, but definitely Cagney's was even better than mm -hmm. Moderna. So if you're gonna do it, um, if we did, if we had to do it again, we'd we'd probably do the two again, but do both at Cagney's because it's definitely an, an incredible deal at that price. Yeah, exactly. Uh, next tip we have for you is that your internet package can be shared between more than one person, mm -hmm. more than one device. So you don't have to buy like three or four packages for mm -hmm. three or four phones, you just can't be on the package at the same time. Right. So if you have a phone, like I have my phone, I'm on the package, she wants to get on the internet, she can log in, it'll just knock me off the internet and then she can be on it. We also figured out about half through the cruise <laughs> that uh, on my phone, you could just put the hotspot on mm -hmm. and then it could both be on at the same time on one package. Mm -hmm. We just had to be together <laughs> you have to be together our to devices had to be close in yeah, order to do that to obviously be, be close to do so that. you can't have like a teenager take off you know to go somewhere and then you're in the cabin or doing something else you can't do the hotspot that way as long as you're together though you're able to use the hotspot together. yeah uh, the internet was unfortunately though pretty slow and yeah. pretty expensive even the premium so i would not uh not spend a lot to get a bunch of mm -hmm. internet access on mm -hmm. the ship uh, another tip we have is concerning the drinks. Now, a lot of people have the drink package on this ship, so they uh, kind of treat the drinks differently. We did not have the drink package, however, though, and when we mm -hmm. would go to buy a soda, they would not give you the full soda. They would just give you <laughs> half a can of soda instead of giving you the actual can. And that seemed pretty bad because it was mm -hmm. like $4 per, mm -hmm. per drink. Yeah, uh, for like six ounces of a so soda. we just made sure we asked them for the can and if they if you do that they'll give you the full can if you mm -hmm. don't ask for the can mm -hmm. they will just give you a glass with ice and half a can mm -hmm. uh, now what ended up happening several times was we would ask for the can 
and they would say, ah, I don't have a full can. Then they would just give us a Coke out of either the, the fountain or a leftover can. And they would be like, ah, it's, it, don't, don't worry about it. You don't have to pay for this. Right. So if they can't give you the can, they kind of mm -hmm. feel like they, they don't really want to charge you. Right. But if you don't say something about asking for the can, mm -hmm. they will charge you for just half a can. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> that's confusing, exactly. but it's, that's the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit frustrating because... If you don't have the beverage package and you are paying the price for it, it's it's a lot of money for a very small amount of drink. And we didn't get very many of them, but we did find that if you're purchasing it directly from a bar or specifically up in the buffet bar area, um, you could get a whole can for the most part from there. Yeah, so the Spinnaker Lounge and the library in the front of the ship are really nice places mm -hmm. to sit not very busy unless there's an event going on there mm -hmm. uh great place to watch sail away we had an mm -hmm. inside cabin on this one uh so we couldn't see anything from our uh, room obviously but that is a really nice place mm -hmm. to watch the sail away yeah it was there was like you said there weren't very many people in there so you can just pick a, you know wherever you wanted to sit and just enjoy it they would usually be playing you know very light music in there so it wasn't even interfering with anything you were doing like if you wanted to sit in there and read which we did that a couple of times sat in there and read um, and the library was also really good for the same purpose and actually it was completely quiet in there and people were uh, very respectful in there anytime I went in there people were just sitting in there reading which was really good yeah uh, there is a big sun deck on the front of the ship on the upper levels so well, you can't really see it from anywhere unless you're up on it, but just go up there and look around because mm -hmm. there's a huge deck up there. That mm -hmm. can also be used for sail away, but just if you're on a sea day or something, uh, there's not a pool up there, but if you just want somewhere to sit and mm -hmm. not have a big crowd, that's the place to do it. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's perfect. And like you said, for sail away, it's also the perfect spot. Um, and it's, it's not a place where a lot of people know that it's there. Um, unless you go up and explore and just keep, you know, walking up and you'll run into it. It's, it's not even really on the map. Right. Yeah. Uh, they do have water for sale in your room mm -hmm. and they're like $5 and 50 cents per bottle. Now you can get a water package from the bar where they'll bring you six, 12 or 24 mm -hmm. bottles of water. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be at a discounted price. So that's a pretty good deal. Mm -hmm. The water still isn't as cheap as like you would get on Carnival, mm -hmm. but it's going to save you over buying them individually at five dollars right. fifty cents, or the hassle of having to go up to the buffet and fill your water bottle all the time. Because we do carry a refillable water bottle with us all the time. We just pour the water in there, and then we can take it with us wherever we want to be without having to go to the buffet each time to fill it. You could do it right from your room and go sit in the Spinnaker Lounge, or go sit in the library, and you've got your water with you and not have to worry about it. Um, otherwise you just, you know, having to mess around with going to the buffet all the time. Yeah. Uh, the casino is smoking on this ship, so that may be good or bad, mm -hmm. depending on if you smoke <laughs> or not. Uh, but just something to note, the casino is smoking. It is quite smoky when you walk mm -hmm. near it. And there are no doors, uh, so it's not enclosed. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you won't smell it like if you're a level or two up, but if you're walking, you know, near it, you'll, mm -hmm. you'll smell it. So that may play in a part of where you want to, uh, you know, your path through the ship. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to walk through there or not, just know yeah. that it is smoking. A lot of ships now are offering non-smoking casinos, but this is not one of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, next tip is that the there is a program called Cruise Next mm -hmm. that they offer, which is where if you put down a deposit on a future cruise, you'll get a certain amount of onboard credit on the cruise you're on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the one thing I want to say about that is they were pretty, they pretty much offered these every day, but on the second to last day of the cruise, the offer went mm -hmm. up. So yeah. the people that booked these, like the first couple days, did not get as much mm -hmm. money as the people that right. booked it the second to last day. Yeah, uh, they, that was their biggest offer. Yeah, they made a big offer second to last day. So if you're going to do it, they're not going to not do it for you. I would wait till the second to the last day, see yeah. if they offer something bigger, and uh, and do it on that day. Yeah, and then the, the last thing is that um, 
Oh, actually a couple things. One is, of course, Thermal Suite. I gotta talk about the Thermal Suite. And you can get daily passes to the Thermal Suite. If you've seen our um, ship tour, you see a video, a little tour of that Thermal Suite area. It's really one of the top notch Thermal Suites on a cruise ship that we've been on in a while. So definitely one to go to. And if you don't want to get it or you know can't get it for the whole cruise, cruise, um, you can get daily passes. Just keep an eye out on the Freestyle Daily, the little flyer that they give you, or you can get it in the app um, and just check for the specials because they usually do have daily passes available on quite a few days. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got, uh, bring a charger with you, bring a, a, a converter because there aren't a ton of outlets. There mm -hmm. are a few, there's, there's more than one. But if you have multiple devices to charge, mm -hmm. you're gonna wanna plug something into that where you can mm -hmm. add some USB ports to it mm -hmm. and not just use the blocks, so. Yeah, we did, in, in our particular cabin, we only had two 110 volt outlets and one 220 outlet, and neither of those were near the bed. So just keep that in mind. Um, that if you need something plugged in near the bed, like if you have a CPAP or something like that, you're gonna need an extension cord to get from um, over near the desk area to your bed if you're in a cabin like the one that we had. So I don't know about the balcony rooms, but that was the situation in the inside cabin. If you haven't seen the tour of that room, make sure you guys check that out right here on the channel.